our problem, compute the inverse of the following three by three matrix A using row operations. We have one example of this type of problem. There, the matrix A consisted of zeros and ones. So the focus was on procedure and not bookkeeping. Here, we're gonna give our third row operation a workout. Now, the way we start, we're gonna form the augmented matrix given by taking A, we're to augment it on the right by the three by three identity matrix. So this is gonna be the matrix we perform row operations on. Now, our row operations, remember, I can switch any two rows, we can multiply any row by a scalar, and I can add a multiple of any row to another row. With these row operations, our goal is gonna to be to convert this augmented matrix, okay, so A slash I, to the augmented matrix I slash A inverse. So if I can get an identity matrix in this first slot, in the second slot we'll have our A inverse. Now, the procedure is gonna be, okay, how do I work my way around this part here with the row operations? We're gonna ignore the right-hand side. So we're gonna perform the row operations on this side as directed, but this isn't gonna guide how we get to our answer. The idea, okay, we're gonna start with the upper left-hand corner. I wanna put a one there. And then we're just gonna move our way around this first matrix as so. So I get down the first column, we go to the middle, and then we work our way around counterclockwise. Now, we want an identity matrix here, so I'll want ones on the main diagonal, and we'll want zeros off the main diagonal. Now, start in the upper left-hand corner. We want a one there. We note we already have a one, so the first step's taken care of. So I proceed to the entry below the one. We wanna turn this minus two into a zero. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna ignore everything from the second column on. How do I multiply by this one and add to the minus two to get zero? I take two times one, add it to minus two, we get zero. So extend those operations to the rows. So to take twice row one, add it to row two, and that's gonna give us the new row two. Now, you could have worked with row three, but it's always better to work with the entries that you've already cleaned up. So we always wanna work with the ones on the diagonal if we've already worked our way through them. Now, I wanna find row two plus two row one. So the way I do the bookkeeping, I get a lot of paper, so I have room to do my troubleshooting without a lot of erasing. We take row two, I'm gonna take twice row one, and then we add. Now, what comes out is gonna be my new row two, so I'm just gonna take this row two, replace it with this row here, and that gives me my new augmented matrix. Now, we have one, zero. I wanna turn this minus two into a zero. So, same procedure. We're gonna take twice row one, add it to row three. Let's go turn this minus two to a zero. And then I just extend those operations to the rows. So, we take row three plus two row one, and that's gonna be my new row three. So I'll let you do the bookkeeping here just to keep this from getting tedious. Now, my new row three is gonna look like this. So one, zero, zero, and now I wanna turn the seven into a one. We have options here. You could multiply that second row by one seventh to get the one, but you'll note that's gonna introduce fractions so a better way is to use the six here. If I take seven minus six, I get a one here. So I'll wanna take row two, subtract off row three to get my new row two. So we work that out. And that's gonna give us this new row two right here. So one, zero, zero, one, and now I wanna make the six a zero. The way I do that, so we forget about these columns and the first column, we don't want to use this one that we've already cleaned up to get rid of the six. So we'll take row three, subtract off six row two. It's going to turn this into a zero. So we work it out. 
And that gets us to this augmented matrix here. Now you'll note, we're almost done. I just need to take care of this three. So I have one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, fix the three, and then I have my inverse. So how do we get rid of the three? We ignore third column on, I ignore the first column, I take minus three times the one, add to the three, I get a zero. So we're gonna take minus three times row two, add it to row one, and we get our new row one. We do our bookkeeping, and here's our new row one. Now, we have an identity matrix in the first slot, so that means the second slot is what we're looking for for A inverse. So that's our problem. Now, of course we check our work, the check here, if I take A times A inverse, that's equal to A inverse A, which is equal to the identity matrix. So it's enough to check one of these. So if I take A times A inverse, okay, you work out all those products, you'll see that the identity matrix comes out and our work is checked.